Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Twenty twenty three Land Rover Defender. One thirty P four hundred first edition without launch control. Alright. Yeah, dude, this thing rips for being a building. Horsepower and torque. <laughs> 395 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque from a 3 liter inline six cylinder turbo with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. So they make a two door, they make a four door, and then they make a four door extended that can fit eight seats. Yeah, so I think this is currently the only car on the planet from a manufacturer that you can get in that many different configurations. Jeep, if they offered an extended one with a Wrangler, they could. Like if they put a Gladiator bed on it and then added seats, they could. They could because of roll bars. And yeah. And, stuff. and then uh, G Wagon, if they had a coupe version, which they used to, which Doug had and he drove us around in. But they never even had an extended. Did they? No, but there's a Brabus like six by six, and then. But I don't think that was ex is exactly. It extended or is it just a bigger trunk? It's just a bigger trunk. Anyways, but, yeah. uh, we actually both fit in the third row, which is the wildest thing. So this is like Escalade. Yukon and a better than X7 territory. Yeah, this thing is incredible. It is so comfortable back there and you don't expect it to be. But does it look normal with the overhang? I mean, the overhang is kind of crazy. And we are driving this on gravel today because we're having some fun up north. Yeah, way up north. We actually put in so much effort. We drove nine hours up. Yeah, and, and I got really good gas mileage too. Nine hours back and not actually. We're, it's but not we're nine up, hours. We're up north. Yeah, but let's get to the looks because I know you want to talk about that rear overhang. Yeah, it, uh, it looks silly, but it also looks like old school Range Rover. Yeah. Or Land Rover. Which one? Uh, uh, Land Rover. Because Land Rover. Range Rover is like the road going ish one. I feel Land like, Rover is like the real one. I feel like out on the range. Oh, okay. You know, like a farm. No, like Anyways, out on the land. <laughs> it, lo it looks more old school. I think it looks cool. Like, you know. Yeah, I mean, it looks interesting. It's kind of weird. I think the 90 and the 110 look better, but the fact that you can actually fit adults in that rear bro like there's no complaints about this yeah thing. yeah <laughs> and like, the only thing is if you're actually gonna go off-roading you do lose some departure angle like a considerable amount with this but, but i like, really don't think you're gonna go that far gonna, off like, road max out their off-road capability with like this big of one and like you can raise it and lower it and, like raising it goes like super high yeah so we do have all those same fun drive modes as we have in all the other ones I've been leaving this in comfort. However, today I've been driving in grass, gravel, snow, or whatever it's called. And it's actually been really comfortable on these gravel roads. We can't even hear these pebbles or rocks or anything like that. If you watch our Subaru WRX review and then compare the audio to that one, same roads. Yeah. This thing is so comfortable to drive off-road-ish on gravel. Pure luxury. At the end of the video, we'll talk about whether we'll take it over like the Yukon uh, AT4 or whatever. Oh yeah. Or the, like the Escalade or the BMWs. We'll save that for the end. We will, but right now let's go back to those looks other than the overhang. The rest looks normal Defender. I don't really care about this color. Like it's, it's too luxurious for me. Yeah, this is like a UK spec. Like I feel like somebody in Britain that like goes, I don't know, quail hunting or whatever they do over there. Th this is what they would get. Yeah, I, I like like the, the greens and the tans. And yeah. This. Yeah, but uh, otherwise it looks like a Defender just stretched out. The wheels are pretty nice. They're very simple. So plain. I, I'm liking plain wheels these days. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for a Defender? The Cross Contact LX Sport. Nice. And this being the first edition, I thought we'd get like some exclusive cool wheels or anything like that, but they're just silver painted. These are the same wheels you can get in black in different trims. At least they're the same ones on the infotainment. Yes. Except the infotainment's not an extended or 130 or whatever it is. Yes, it is. is it? It, look at that. That rear overhang? Is that? Dude. Because I haven't looked at these in a while. <laughs> we've driven the 90, we've driven the 110. The only one that we haven't driven is the V8. And I really want to drive that V8. I think I would just love it. Yeah. Can you get a V8 in this? No. Uh, no, you can only get in the 110. You can't get in the short, you can't get in this one. Uh, they're really uh, holding that off until sales go down. <laughs> but. I think the, the lineup to get one of these is like a couple years as it is. I think it's at least a couple months. So you're going to have to go to tsp.truecar.com, discounted in stock price offers. And if you're in Toronto, go to our buddy Chad at Grand Touring. Yes. Shout out Chad. 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 <laughs> Do you like the looks of this more than an Escalade? Ooh. Do you like the looks of this more than a Yukon? Because I would say, yeah. Yukon for sure. Escalade? Escalade. Uh, it's getting, it's, I feel like 
maybe in like the right spec. In the right spec, in the right setting, like now that we're off road in this gravel setting, 100%, I'm taking this. 100%. Yeah, yeah, I would not want the Escalade to be on gravel. Exactly. But the AT4, like, I think that, yeah, I don't know. I think this definitely looks better than the Yukons. Yeah. And then I, the, X, the new X7, I think this kind of still looks better. But I can see a bunch of new X7s for like road going, like, they look pretty sharp. Yeah, they do. And as for the powertrain, we've driven this P400 many times and we still love it in this application. Floor it and good amount of torque. It's, it's not that's, slow. That's a real good amount of torque for how big this is, but it's not full of people. But, you know, still, it's got a lot of extra weight being this long. So I. Obviously, it's a little bit slower, but it's not even that noticeable from like the 110. Okay, back to the whole fitting people. To get into the third row, though, it's like super tight. It is like, really annoying. It's like a really small little channel. And then try to push it back, I smack the seat into my cheek. Yes. So I guess be careful with that. And then with the seats all up, not too much room behind the last row, but with them down, a lot of room. But it's not flat load floor in case like you're into that stuff. Right, yeah. So I found that almost a little bit annoying because even our bags are just kind of like awkward. Yeah, and then the, the door is heavy. The door is really heavy. Like it's it's got a damper on it, but I feel like it's not enough. So if you're uh, the dainty type and you don't like lifting heavy things, you're actually going to have trouble with this, I think. Yeah, but it's got the wheel on the back, so you know. Yeah, but uh, what's that other one? The Jeep, the 392, that had a big 37 wheel on it, and that was way more damp than this one. Yeah, I don't really remember that part, but cool. Okay, would you take a 392 extended? Ooh, oh. <laughs> a hypothetical uh, Hellcat yeah, extended? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd go with that because that's just dumb. But this is so comfortable to drive. It's so quiet. I can't believe I'm on gravel. I love driving Defenders around. And I think you should drive this now. Okay. Would this kind of compete with the Durango? Kind of, but, but not this, really. this is more luxurious. So you, would you go luxury and less power and off-road compared to Durango? Not classy at all, but way more power. If I had a on road. If I had a one car solution and it was on Durango, road, Durango, Durango, Durango RT or <laughs> even, something like even that. Even if it was gravel, I'd be like, oh, let's drive slow, but I'd rather have the Durango for all the road stuff. Yeah, but if I had like one, like you know, family car that I wasn't gonna do dumb stuff in, and I, I'd go for this. If you lived on the British countryside, yeah, but let's get you in here. Yo, are you allowed to drive between people's like backyards in British their farmland? I don't know. It looks like it. It kind of does if you like open gates properly yeah, and yeah. know people. I don't think you're allowed to do that here. No. <laughs> do you think the queen who was still driving a Land Rover up to pretty much when she died would have been able to close that? No. I don't think so. R.I.P. She, she was tough, but R.I.P. Yeah, not, not tough enough to drive, but not tough enough to uh, close that door. <laughs> yeah. Start low traction launch. Vehicle stationary. Gradually apply accelerator. Ah, uh, boo. Stop low traction launch. Fast traction launch. Yeah, no traction launch. Oh, this rip's pretty hard. Yo, I love this gauge cluster design, like with that clock thing in the middle and, and the, the graph design. I don't feel like the other ones had this look in the layout. I think it's identical to every other. Well, maybe uh, I didn't. Defender. Maybe I didn't scroll through that part, but this looks nice to me. It does. I like the clock. You know how much I love my watches. Yeah. Also. I like how you can see the exterior paint color on the interior, and I love all the materials. Everything looks awesome. This dark wood, like, man, they are classy. There's a lot of, like, not classy companies out there. I know. This is the opposite of them. The, they nailed this. And this it, is such a good car. Yo, sunroofs. Yo, we got one at the very back, too. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. No losing light in here. The infotainment's pretty all right. Apple it's CarPlay, really good. CarPlay, Apple CarPlay connects right away. It does, like, instantly, and you have the choice of wired or wireless. And then when you, like, come to a stop and uh, get near stuff, right away it starts popping up that 360 camera that shows what's underneath, which is, like, so sick. It is really nice. And I haven't really noticed any lag or anything in this infotainment. It's been working for me really well this time. Normal shifter, good climate control buttons. Uh, volume knob's a little far. Yeah, uh, the only thing that kind of still sucks is, like, having to do your drive modes because you either have fans speed or drive modes up or down and then it changes what these uh, climate control knobs do because that's also how you get to your heated and cooled seats but it does work yeah how about the uh, radar cruise lane keep I haven't tried it off-road yet Yuri it's not gonna work off-road <laughs> no I haven't tried, tried it on the no, no. Uh, how's the sound system in this it's actually pretty decent it's the Meridian system but I don't find it's the best at least I was listening to a podcast and it just sounded weird but music sounds pretty good and I see that we have some rubber floors with carpet on top. Is that the ideal situation for this interior? Uh, not in this configuration. I think a set of tux mat would do this car wonders. Yeah, but I guess it is nice that it's not gonna like soak through carpet below there anyways. Yeah, yeah, but you still wanna protect this interior and make it look even more premium. Go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes.
They currently have the 90 and the 110, but they're always adding more models. Yuri, I'd like you to try sport shifting with this shifter and shift manually. With no paddles, you gotta use the shifter. <sighs> what yeah. if I just floor it and see what it does? Okay. Decent. What mode am I in? You're in just grass, gravel, snow with okay. sport shifting. Let's try that in like comfort. Okay. Or something. Comfort, comfort. yeah, yeah. And then normal shifting. Normal shifting. Slower, but still good. And now if I do it sport. Felt the same. Okay, it's pretty, pretty slow to, to shift when you need speed. You the gotta, initial one. You gotta roll into power and be ready to be on it at but all now times. now use this to shift. It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. And up for down, down for up, so that's nice. Yes. Also, uh, RIP Ken Block, because uh, we've referenced Ken Block for shifting yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 that's... Ken. That's so sh Yeah, that sucks. That's like the only celebrity death that's ever affected me in my entire life. Yeah. Because it's like, since like DC Mountain Lab and him jumping with Subarus. Yeah, we talked about it before. Yeah. Yeah. Cup holders. We've got those rubber fun. grips. It looks like the rubber grips are like slightly less grippy than they've been in the past. They do work. And then the visors. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh! Damn, this is a good SUV. Yeah, I love how we're still excited about that one stupid thing like I 600 cars later. I'm so excited when it works. All right, now cliche gravel. What? <laughs> I think it cut power the, on the you The traction, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, I gotta turn traction off and then go back. <laughs> I don't think this thing's prioritizing fun. Why was the mirror facing that way? Was it someone trying to be driving on the right side of the road? Oh, you can't even see anything in your mirror because there's like 45 I think, headrests I think in the, the way mirror and a tire. bounced loose. But you can use this because you got a camera. Oh, that's nice. Didn't bog down there. No, it was okay. But it also didn't fast and furious Tokyo Drift. Obviously. <laughs> but you did have to then change the drive mode to get it to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, nobody's yeah. gonna be doing that. Maybe. Although this thing is extremely what? capable because you can like, like. Isn't this the bad guy car from 007 where they're like jumping or something? I still didn't see that. Movie. Yeah, I mean, not in a 130, but yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can do like center locking diffs and rear locking diffs and all that crazy stuff. And this the water does have waiting? a low speed uh, transfer case. You got all that good stuff that you actually want for off-roading, just like that water waiting stuff, because uh, you can theoretically drive through rivers and such with this. And jump over jumps and chase chase James Bond. In the 110 out of the Did 90s. you watch that movie? Uh, I still haven't, man. I honestly don't remember if I have. They probably filmed that five years ago, because remember it got delayed because of like all the stuff? I did watch it. It was actually pretty good. I just, uh, it's been a while. I'll watch it, I'll watch it. Is that pretty much everything with the 130 Defender? I think so. Time we get to the price. This one is one hundred and seven thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. Huh? Exactly. Less than uh, that Yukon we drove. Yeah. Less than Escalades we've driven. Ah. This is a really good spec as well. Like it's kind of lightly spec, but I don't feel like it is. Yeah, it does not feel lightly spec. Uh, I guess that's probably a similar price to like the X7s too. Yeah. So I think this is a fantastic SUV. And it honestly might be my pick of the entire bunch of SUVs in this uh, class. For three row. Yeah. Huh. Like not getting into the crazy stuff with Durango SRTs and or dumb Escalade stuff. Or Escalade V. Escalade V always wins. Yeah. But like in this class of normal-ish, kind of fast-ish three row SUVs, I really like this thing. Huh. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like watching our super honest car reviews. We've done like 600 of them so far. And we're gonna keep doing car reviews pretty much till we're old geezers. Yeah, definitely an old geezer, so subscribe for the rest of your lives. Yeah, I feel like I'm already an old geezer. Yeah, I mean, our, our backs hurt. We're I almost, had knee surgery. We're almost 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just both uh, celebrated birthdays, yeah. and uh, yeah, we're old. I just look young. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Super handsome. Yeah, Model. me too. Yuri Brad Pitt Tereshin, they've been calling me. Yeah, Jacob also Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> They swap. I it's think absurd. Brad Pitt has a beard now, so. Yeah. I, I don't even think young people know who Brad Pitt is. The guy who dated that chick from Friends. Yes, and then I don't even know if people really know him for that anymore. It's mostly Angelina Jolie, right? What do they know Brad Pitt for?